I don't ever try to do clickbait or anything like that. So it's like, well, why did you title this video Zelda Babysitter? Well, I'm going to explain why. Watch the whole video to the end, and hopefully you will enjoy this video. I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button also, share with your friends. If you don't mind, also please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel, and you will become a fan. I hope so. Zelda Babysitter. Well, this is an actual person. Uh, she was a family member, and she still is, but sadly, she's no longer with us anymore. Uh, I'm not going to try to make this video be sad as much as possible. Now, alright, she was my babysitter. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to say what her first name was, but that's it. That's as far as I'm going. So, throughout the video, I'm going to call her Zelda Babysitter. And why is that? Well, when I was really, really young, like a little kid, I had a babysitter, and like I said, she was part of the family. And we went over to her house and stuff like that. I'm trying to breathe remember everything. Hopefully you'll find this video being entertaining, hopefully. Um, and, uh, she had video game consoles at her house. Uh, everything from the Super Nintendo to the N64 and try to remember everything else that she had. And, uh, she loved and enjoyed playing Zelda games. Hinting at why I'm tired in this video is Zelda Babysitter. And uh, she was like in her 70s, if I can remember correctly. And she played video games because she loved playing video games. And it also helped her to keep her mind active and stuff. And Zelda was her favorite series to ever play. Now, I think this is during the time period that the GameCube and the Wii was all out. But she never got any of all that stuff. I, I think she knew about it, but she just never got it. So she never played any of those Zelda games. She only ever... I think she had mainly Ocarina of Time. She might have had Majora's Mask, if I'm pronouncing that game correctly. I don't remember. But that was like my first time ever being able to play Ocarina of Time. Now, to be honest... I never really beat Ocarina of Time. Uh, I've been trying to beat it here and there. It's very hard, it's very difficult, but hopefully I'll get to beat it someday. The point I'm trying to get across is, um, she beat that game several times, and she knew all about everything about that game. And my favorite time was beating Ganondorf in that game. If you ever played Ocarina of Time, you literally, like, when you're fighting Ganondorf, it's like you're playing tennis. You're, you've got the Master Sword, and he's shooting, like, an energy ball at you, and you're hitting the Master Sword, and you're hitting that energy ball back and forth. You're throwing it back at you, back and forth, you know, like you're playing actual tennis. And I re remember really enjoying that fight. And then later on, he has a second phase where he transforms. You have to fight him on the rooftop of the, I think it's Hyrule Castle. And I remember playing all that and beating that and seeing the end of the game and really enjoying all of that. It was just so much fun. So I have beaten that part of the game. And I've beaten the beginning of the game all the way leading up to getting the Master Sword and all that stuff. And as far as I've actually gotten... Now, I'm not going to talk about just that. Alright. I have a lot of fun memories with Zelda Babysitter. Uh, she was such an amazing person. She was amazing. Uh, uh, one of the main things that we ate over at her house was PB&J, you know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And we also had cheese puffs and you talking about you'd be probably thinking you know what 
That would be gross. If you ever had it, it was a good combination. I mean, we had that a lot over at her house. I had a lot of good memories over at her house. Um, I remember a memory one time where I took my uh, Pokemon Yellow version for the Game Boy. And she had... Um, I don't know if you ever seen one or not, but with the with the N64 controller, you had this rumble pack that connected to the controller. And with that, uh, when it comes to the Pokemon Stadium, uh, inside the rumble pack, there's a slot where you can put the Game Boy inside of. And that portion would be like different colors to tell you like which Pokemon game that it really could go with and it was Pokemon Yellow because it was yellow in the Rumble pack. So I would bring my Pokemon uh, Yellow game over and you can put it into the Rumble pack and you can connect it to the TV through Pokemon Stadium and you can play Pokemon Yellow on the TV and I, I remember doing that and I had a lot of fun memories of playing that had a lot of fond memories of eating uh, PB and J and cheese puffs and stuff. Um, we there's a uh, like a picnic style wooden table outside in the backyard that we ate around and stuff. And of course, there was other kids there as well too. They had like a like a swimming pool style. It's like one of those small swimming pools. That you fold up and you expand it on the ground and you fill it up with water. Um, it's one of those. And she had this uh, backyard to where this hill was in the backyard. And we had these uh, uh, bike-like toys. But they weren't really bikes. But they had like wheels on them. You can sit on them and stuff. And we would, some of us would actually stand on them. Uh, after we take them up to the hill in the backyard, we'll stand on them and just roll down the hill. Had a good time doing all that. And then, um, of course, we had Bible studies there as well. Uh, she had this trailer in the backyard, uh, Zelda Babysitter. Um, and we'll sit up in the trailer in the backyard and we'll have, like, Bible studies and stuff like that. And I think we did, like, arts and crafts and stuff. I'm trying to remember everything. And, um... And then there was times also where we sat around and we watched movies inside the house. Uh, she had a living room set up with this TV. We can sit on and watch movies and stuff. And we just had a, an amazing time at her house. And uh, I had so much good memories with Zelda Babysitter. And it, I really... Uh, I really do miss her a whole lot i really do and um i got to talk to her on the phone um she's been gone for i don't know more than a few years now of course uh and i got to talk on her i got to talk to her on the phone one one last time and uh she was wanting to get together with me and all the other kids that she helped Raise in her babysitter house, and she was wanting to have a reunion, but sadly we didn't get to have any of that. But um, she was she was amazing. Uh, she really, in my opinion, um, she really got me into the Zelda games for sure, and got me into playing and enjoying a lot of video games. I mean, I've always been playing video games since I was a little kid. Um, I mean, I've sat down and played the Sega Genesis. I've talked about that in some of my past videos. But yeah, so I've always played video games, but sh she was like, really, really inspired me a whole lot for Zelda and playing all those awesome games, which I still do play some of them nowadays. But the point I'm trying to get is, I want to do this video for a memory to re- remember her and I can see I can have some of those flashbacks in my head right now I can re remember some of it but it's 
there, but I can't remember everything, sadly. But it was just an amazing memory. Um, I mean, I could talk about some other stuff, too, but I don't want to talk about any of the other kids there, about some of the situations that happened there. You know, drama does happen. I don't want to talk about all that stuff, but stuff happens, you know. I have that memory, too. But, yeah, it was just a fantastic memory, uh, Zelda Babysitter. But, yeah, um, so, yeah, um, I, it was, it was amazing. Um, really going to really miss her a whole lot. And her name, only her first name was Barbara. And she was amazing. Alright, uh, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I don't do clickbait, so that's why I wanted to title this video Zelda Babysitter. Uh, and so hopefully you clicked on this video and you found some enjoyment out of it. Um, it was a wonderful memory. Uh, I mean, it was, it, it, it was great. I wouldn't mind going back to those times just specifically for that and go back through all that again but i may consider eating some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches again sometime in the future and get me a bag of cheated cheese puffs and do that again just for the memory's sake i mean please let me know down in the comments um are y'all going to try that or if you even thought about it or worse uh i don't know about that Auckland. they don't sound too good well, just try it someday if you're interested in it. It's not bad. It's a pretty good combination, in my opinion. It's pretty good. All right, I would love to know how y'all thought about this video. Did y'all enjoy it? I sure enjoyed talking about it. All right, thank you so much. All right, bye.